Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video I will cover everything one might need to know about WordPress object cache. Let's go! A WordPress website consists of numerous PHP objects. There's a memory manager that constantly builds, initiates, and removes those objects to run your website. Sometimes these actions can overload your server, causing the site to slow down and receive errors. It will result in a poor user experience and can even cause financial loss. To avoid that from happening, you can implement object caching. An object cache is a server-side caching type that copies and manages website data. It helps speed up PHP execution time by reducing repeated and unnecessary queries. It's divided into four steps. First, when a user accesses your website, the browser sends an HTTP request to the web server. Second, once the request is approved, it delivers the data or resources to the browser. Third, by enabling object caching on your site, the server will duplicate user requests in your cache. And finally, whenever the browser sends the same request, the server will deliver data from the cache instead of the database. The WordPress CMS has a built-in object caching called WP Object Cache. It's activated by default on WordPress website to automatically store new objects from the database to the PHP memory. All the cached content is accessible and retrievable using a key. That means each specific entry has a unique identifier in the database. Users can write the WP Cache asterisk function in the code to interact with object cache. The most common commonly used are WP cache set sets a value in the cache by overwriting the existing data or creating a new data set. WP cache add adds a value to the key only if it doesn't exist, otherwise this function will return as false. WP cache get retrieves an object from an existing cache, if not, this function will return as false. WP cache flesh deletes all cached content and WP cache flesh group clears all cached content within a group only if the object caching settings support it, if not, the function will remove all cached data. Keep in mind that the WP object cache is non-persistent, meaning it only runs for a single page load. So, once the request is complete, the cached content will be removed. Considering that, the WordPress object caching feature is suitable for small websites with low traffic. Meanwhile, if you run a medium to large size WordPress site, implement persistent object caching solutions to handle multiple page loads. These tools will improve your website's performance by speeding up the database query transfer while reducing your server's workload. Plus, it will increase traffic capacity and improve the overall user experience while scaling a business website. Therefore, Hostinger offers the Lightspeed Memcache system in our higher tier WordPress hosting plans. It's an excellent hosting solution for large scale websites, and the price starts at around $4 per month to get the persistent object caching running on your website. If you already purchased our Business WordPress or WordPress Pro hosting plan, activate the WordPress Object Cache in each panel by simply navigating to Websites and choosing Manage. Then enable Object Cache. That's it, now a continuous object caching system will run on your WordPress website. Lightspeed Memcached, also known as LSMCD, is a more beginner-friendly option than Redis, another popular open source in memory caching solution. It optimizes dynamic content on various web applications by reducing the database load. Memcached manages all object data from API calls, page rendering, or database cache within dynamic memory or RAM. This object caching tool can store any data size, including a whole HTML page, and allocate each object with a key, raw data, and expiration time. Memcached can work within a standalone server or multiple servers. Updating or removing content will automatically update the object cache and load the latest data. 
older data will be overwritten if your setter runs out of space. However, the cached objects will be removed if you restart the server. On the side note, if you wish to use aforementioned Redis, you must pick up one of Hostinger's VPS hosting plans. So that's how you can optimize your WordPress site with the object cache feature. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share or leave a comment below if you have further questions. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.